National parks and dogs aren't usually a winning combination. Dogs are normally banned, but in one park they've been allowed in to get rid of some pests. Foxes are threatening native species and nesting shorebirds. And the authorities believe that Springer Spaniels might be the best way to track the foxes down. Jeff Sims reports from Araqual National Park near Byron Bay. Trained and ready for action. Yes. But they don't get far. First, a refresher course. We know what the enemy looks like. Dogs aren't normally allowed in national parks, but Gus and Katie have special permits. Win a fox, win a fox. Who's a fox? In Iraqul National Park, the staff want more than show. They want protection for a whole range of animals the foxes prey on. Pied oyster catchers, little terns, beach stone curlews, and other ground dwelling mammals like long nosed potteroo. Dogs, two dogs can do much better than random baiting. We can cover twice as much area, but also each dog can confirm what the other one finds or finds what the other one misses, you know. They've already had a trial run in rabbit control on Macquarie Island, and there's more to come next year. We're aware that it has been used for other wildlife and conservation programs, so we're keen to, to give it a go. These English Springer Spaniels have been fine-tuned for foxes. A quick sniff, no, nothing there, and on they go. But just when it seems the whole exercise is turning into a bit of a lark, Gus and Katie hit pay dirt, a couple of active dens. The signal could hardly be clearer. Fresh fox below. Then comes the unpleasant but necessary task of filling the dens with carbon monoxide to kill the foxes and save native wildlife. The foxes aren't the end of it. Now this little guy Bolt is being trained for a special mission, not to find those furry, feral foreigners. His mission is to find something with no hair. In fact, it's quite slimy, the cane toad. That's a little further down the track. No toad in the hole here. Jeff Sims, ABC News, near Byron Bay.